my podcast is actually here. Can you imagine? The way Love Island is stressing me out right now, the way I want to get straight into it. Like, I really wanted to do a kind of a breakdown on this whole Casa Amor situation and really dive deep and give like a psycho analytical kind of review of Shauna as a character. From her side, she has been the one who was very, very territorial that came in. Evidently, Callum was attracted to Rebecca. They went on a little mini date in that bedroom situation when Rebecca, you know, was actually relevant to the show. But unfortunately, she now is you know, firmly on the team of what we call furniture. This kind of vibe. And the fact that she was dictating, and the word is dictating here, Callum would want to avoid that emotional reaction because it would seem as unnecessary baggage and stress for him. When Casa Amor took place, she was upset that she wasn't able to threaten him. The word threaten now, please, Shauna, are you okay? As she believes that Callum led, you know, her on. And she's like, I wish I would have believed your actions instead of your words. But then it's like, we need to really reassess your actions and your words and find out what the hell's going on with you. Just over it. Like, child, I'm over it when it comes to a lot of things and he was also over it. And that's the name of this damn podcast. I'm over it. So you better inject it. Or, you know, Callum was never emotionally present. And this is the key phrase. He was never emotionally present and then they have become the focal point. So I wanted to start my podcast now because I really wanted to, you know, give a kind of analytical view of just their relationship and how strained it actually was from day dot and how it never really was meant to be anything. Before we dive deep into this, because we've got a lot to talk about when it comes to Naz, Eva and Demi, I'm so happy that Naz is like on the show and uh, we were just talking casually and then he was just like, yeah, I'm going on Love Island. And then as he said this, um, our other friend began to record my reaction and I was like, why is he filming this? And I genuinely, for the first five minutes, like, did not believe anything. Asking him to be in my Love Island reviews to now going on the show, I was shell-shocked before they kiss. It just seemed like Eva is playing a game. This is what I'm getting from this clown. She just seems irritated, like she's putting up with Max, like she's holding on to him. At the same time, comparison is a thief of enjoyment. And if we compare these two individuals and their personalities were completely different, I'm quite worried now because I also do believe that perhaps the damage has been done. You know, I feel like the damage has been done massively when it comes to him and Demi. Like the bags have been fumbled, child. They have been fumbled. It's unfortunate because we don't see any airtime for Priscilla. This is irritating me. I don't understand what's going on. Why doesn't she get airtime? What are the reasons? You know, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. So please do subscribe to this podcast. Hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of Love Island coated episode, I would say.